Hello there, my beautiful Sagittarius, and welcome to your weekly tarot reading with me, Miss Machiste. Sagittarius, we are looking into this week of September 13th to the 19th. Please keep in mind that time is fluid, and do not forget to check out your other chart placements on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe. And if you are returning, welcome back. And thank you so very much for being here. Sag, we are getting you a number for this week to see what number Spirit is highlighting for you. You may see this number on license plates, billboards, social media, wherever you see digits. Sagittarius, your number is triple four. All right, I am protected. This card says, trust your journey. Trust the way your life unfolds and trust that you are where you need to be at the present moment. All right. Some of you Sagis could have been born on the 4th. It doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. But pay attention to the 4s. If you have not been seeing them, you may start seeing them. So you are very divinely guided, protected by your angels, your spirit guides, your passed on loved ones. They are really, really making sure that their Sagis are... Feeling good, trusting in them, and really in a position of knowing that the universe has your back, basically. So let's see what else we got going on here for my Sagittarius for this week, Spirit. All right, and we have Eclipse in Pisces. Card 36, Free Will. And this card says, serve your higher purpose. Okay, so some of you may have Pisces in your chart somewhere. It doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. But Spirit is almost saying to you, Sagittarius, whatever you put your heart into, whatever you put your focus onto, Spirit is going to make you feel that energy of victory. So whatever you do this week, it's like... It's your path, and this is what you are guided to do by spirit. So let's see what this is all about here. Let's get a major arcana or an ace for you for this week and see what you're specifically doing, but you're really on the right path. So Sag, if you have been wondering, am I on the right path? Have I been making the right decisions up until this moment? Spirit is coming through with yes. And we have Release, which is Death, card number 13, Scorpio Energy. So you also have an Eclipse, which is an indication of change. So I feel like for a lot of you, Sagittarius, all of the endings, all of the struggle, all of the feeling like you're not on the right path, feeling like spirit doesn't have your back, that is all changing now. So there is a wonderful release of all that no longer serves you and a beautiful transformation to your actual reality. And I feel like you are a lot more powerful than you think you are, Sagittarius. And this week, you're going to start seeing that power. So let's get the tarot on this and get more details. Pretty general here. But you do have the energy of free will, which is showing that there is something very specific you want to take action towards. And spirit is saying, go for it. I am with you. I am protecting you. And I am guiding you in this direction of your truest potential. So let's see what your tarot is here, Sag. On your triple four, we have the six of wands. Beautiful. Feeling victorious. Feeling seen, wanted, heard, appreciated. Underneath Eclipse and Pisces, the Eight of Cups. There it is. You are walking away from everything that does not serve your highest purpose in life. And it's not even a bad shift. This is a transformation that's going to make you feel like you are who you're supposed to be in this life. Underneath this release energy, the Three of Cups, there you go. Happiness, celebration, a restoration to uplifting energy in your life. So I definitely feel like for a lot of my Sagittarius, in terms of 
the way you feel, I almost feel like this is a very internal for some of you, where you're finding it within you to say, I finally understand why all of the things that happened to me happened to me, and I am almost grateful now. I am feeling uplifted now, because where I'm at now is somewhere that maybe you weren't even ever imagining you could be. So let's clarify this here. Um, and then I'm going to get into specifics of what storylines that I'm feeling. But I want to get the clarification out one more time so I can really pinpoint here with the details. So Six of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles, feeling good, feeling stable, abundant. On that Eight of Cups, we have the Six of Pentacles, wonderful. Three of Cups, Knight of Swords, yeah. All right. So, Sagittarius, let's get started into the details of this message. So, in terms of work, um, some of you may have your own business with free will. Some of you may be starting something that you have always wanted to be. You know, like when you were a child and they asked you, what do you want to be when you grow up? Some of you are actually doing what you wanted to be when you grown up. Quote, unquote, you're already grown but for some of you, if you have a business or if you have a career, workplace situation, whatever the case may be, it's looking very abundant. If you were um, feeling uncertain about it, if you were feeling not as good, Spirit is saying you are where you are supposed to be now. So for some of you with this Eight of Cups or the Six of Pentacles, you may have recently changed jobs. And Spirit is saying this job now is going to give you a lot more payout, a lot more abundance, and a lot more generosity from the universe than any other job or any other career that you have experienced, been in, or worked for. And with this Three of Cups to the Knight of Swords here, in terms of work, you may be hearing something from work that is a need for celebration. So with the Six of Pentacles, for me, that is an energy of generosity. So some of you, you may be getting like paid vacation days. They may tell you like, hey, you have these vacation days, you get paid for them, whatever the case may be. Some of you, you may just have more free time to live your life at this new career, new job, new set of money-making situation. But wherever you're at now in sense of stability and in sense of money, this situation is going to give you a much larger payout than anything has ever given you since this moment. So it looks good. There's a need for celebration. And I feel like if you are somebody who takes clients, I feel like you're going to be getting a lot more clients or a lot more... Um, people noticing you and interested in either buying your service or something along those lines that have to do with your career. So in terms of love, Sagittarius, um, I already talked more internal while I was pulling most of the cards. So if this is internal for some of you, you're just feeling a lot more stable, a lot more happy, and I feel like a lot more expressive with yourself, especially with the energy of free will, you want your light to shine. So for some of you, this is internal transformation, but if this does have to do with love, I feel like you had to go through a lot of endings and a lot of changes to be where you are today with whoever this person is. So whether this is somebody who knew, whether this is somebody who is from the past, or this is somebody that you have currently been with, it looks like for you to reap this reward of reciprocation, giving and receiving with this person, you had to let go of a lot. You had to move away from a lot of energy, whether within you or externally to you. And you're like, I'm, I feel an energy of a payout here where you're finally getting what you have given in life. So in terms of love, I mean, Six of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles, if you are in a relationship or reconnecting to somebody, it looks like they're coming in very stable, very attentive, very much making you feel like they want to have victory with you. They are reciprocating you with this Six of Pentacles. They may even be gifting you something um, as well. But with the Three of Cups and the Knight of Swords, whoever you are connecting with, there is good communication. There is happy communication. I feel like this person replies at a good um, 
time. Like you're not waiting around for this person to reach out to you. You're not waiting around wondering when they'll answer back. You're like in a position of like, oh wait, this person actually is consistently communicative. We actually can have nice conversations daily consistently. I don't have to wonder about this person. So if you are connecting to somebody or um, possibly Three of Cups, Knight of Swords, you will be meeting somebody this weekend. For some of you, a past person may come in very hot with wanting to reunite with you. Um, so nonetheless, whoever is coming in romantically is coming with a sense of stability and a sense of wanting happy, uplifted communication. So this is either your current person, a past person, or a newer energy, but you look very good. You feel very free in expressing yourself, Sag. And I, I really just feel like this is going to be a very um, nice week for you where you just feel very grounded, very stable in this energy. So we are now going to be getting your specific love energies to close out the reading. Um, I don't necessarily have any majors here, but we do have earth, water, fire, and air. So you really could be dealing with anybody. We have specifically water energy in your um, theme cards. So let's see. Sag. In terms of love, let's see what's going on. We have mirroring. We have grief. And we have tribe. Okay, so I do feel like for a moment, you and your person... Um, wow, how crazy is this? I literally said in this position, you had to walk away from a lot of things to finally be in this connection or have this stability with this person. And I feel like you dealt with a lot of people in your past that it was very... In a sense of mirroring like energy where Sagittarius in your past relationships, it was only like, I'm only going to give as much as you give, or they were only giving as much as you gave, or I'm only going to express myself as much as you express yourself. It's like now your tribe, your spiritual tribe is bringing you somebody different, somebody better, somebody that is not going to cause you this very large grief, this very large sadness. So let's clarify this here for you, Sag, in terms of love for this week for Sag. We have mirroring with awakening. There you go, what I just say. We have grief with third party. And we have tribe with offer. So for some of you, you actually may have had to release an energy of holding resentment or grudges against people from your past that put you in third party energy. Um, possibly some of you, there could be a little bit of sadness with um, family or um, friends or something along those lines. I almost feel like, I mean, because with that eight of cups there, I told you, I'm like, you had to walk away from something very specific, either within yourself, which could have been grief or an actual person to meet or come together with whoever this is. So some of you, this could be that person or past person or your current person may have put you in a third party energy or whatever the case may be, or you had to work or you had to walk away from either a fear of third party to have a healthy, happy relationship or walk away from people who you know, mess things up with you. And it's not even that like you were holding on to these people. I feel like you were only just holding on to the sadness of being put in positions or experiences that you necessarily didn't feel that great about. But I'm telling you, your spiritual tribe, spirit, the universe is bringing you a real, solid, genuine offer. But for some of you, Sag, you may have to see this and think within yourself like you know what you're right I have been holding on to the pain and the hurt that this person caused me you know I'm over them but that pain that hurt that trauma is still there your spiritual tribe and I'm telling you that's why release is here that's why you have this free will energy right on this position my readings are very synchronistic the cards come out the way perfectly they should come out that's why I don't take flyers so let's clarify this one more time here for you, Sag. But there's an offer. There's stability. This person is real and they are worth it. And they are not going to do what your past has done to you. Or for some of you, this person may be coming in like, oh, I've changed and whatever. But you know 
your story. On Awakening, we have Regret. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you Sagittarius, you, you do have a sense of regret for either being where you were, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Letting things, don't forgive yourself. I feel the need to tell you this, forgive yourself for all the things that you did put up with in the past. You know, we all have our moments. Don't hold on to that. There's something so much better here. There's like a, there's something real. There's something abundant. It's like your spiritual support system is like Sagittarius. It's now your time for real, solid, grounded, truthful, genuine offers. Third party, separation, and offer with refocus. There you go. So whatever offer is coming in, or whatever new love or renewed sense of love has presented itself to you or will be presenting itself for you, it's helping you move on from someone. For some of you as well, Sag, if you are already connecting to this person, with mirroring coming out, you may also be helping this person get over their past as well. But whoever this person is, is directly coming from your spiritual support system and they're like gifting you something. I'm telling you, this whole reading is about you getting a pay out, like a pay back to what you deserve. And it seems like it's in terms of finance, abundance, love, and happiness. So I really like this for you, Sag. So that's what I have here for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching and I will see y'all and talk to y'all very soon. Have a great week. Bye now.